Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Delphine and in today's video we will have a look at the Lady Dior handbag. I made a video about my whole handbag collection. I will put a link here in case you're interested and you have not seen it yet. Um, but because I had to show several bags, I did not have time to go into much detail about each of these bags. And I thought that could be maybe something of interest for you. I know that before I buy a new handbag, I especially luxury one, I tend to go and look for these kind of videos because they help me decide um, for the size or whether I'm actually indeed interested in the bag or not. And so in this video, I will present you a bit of the different options with this bag as well as uh, my experience and the pros and cons of this bag, what it fits inside, all this kind of useful information. So let's get started. Um, I feel like the Lady Dior out of the luxury bag is the one where you have the most options, the most possibilities in terms of size, colors, uh, finishes and everything. Um, so I had a look again on the website to also have the latest price because I will give you all this information. And so I will start with this, what is available. So the one I have is the middle size. It's a very classic black color, uh, simple leather, uh, gold hardware. Uh, you cannot choose uh, typically different hardwares. You, the black will uh, normally come with this gold hardware. If you pick another color, it might have a different hardware color. Um, you cannot uh, choose that. It's, um, it's a match color and hardware. So it's as it is. Um, very simple classic uh, leather strap, um, nothing special. It's not a special edition. It's one that you will always find because I think it's one of the most classic ones. Um, as other options, so I had a look, wrote it down on my little paper. So for sizes, you will have the mini size, the small size. Uh, in the small size, you will have two variants. The one which is called My ABC Dior, where you have a strap and you can personalize the strap. You can choose three different kind of charms. I think three to five different kind of charms uh, to personalize it. Or you also have it classic uh, in the small size without this personalizable uh, strap. Um, they, as far as I've seen, mostly come only in leather. The mini and the small are only available in leather and eventually patent leather. The mini will retail for 4,700 euros uh, currently because price increases, right? Currently, at the time I'm making this video, we are in July 2023, 4,700 euros. Uh, the small My ABC Dior, so the, where you can personalize the strap, retails for 5,500. And the classic version where you cannot um, personalize the strap retails for 5,400. Then you have the middle size, which is the one I have. Um, it's typically available in four finishes. You can have it with fabric, it's called D-Light. You have it in matte, uh, complete, so then it will be completely matte, so the, the hardware will also be matte. Um, you have it in patent leather, so it will be much more shiny, and you have it in classic leather. From what I could see from the prices, um, the leathers, whether matte, patent or classic, all retail for 5,900. And the um, fabric one, depending on the exact finish, are between 4,400 and 4,600 because fabric is less expensive than leather. Then you have the big size. And as far as I could see, uh, I only saw it in leather and it's 6,200 euros. It's something I find quite interesting. I don't know if you've, you've probably noticed, there is not such a big price difference between the sizes, right? Whether you take the middle size or the big one, um, you have 300 euro difference. And at these kind of prices, whether you pay 5,900, 6,200, it's not about the price anymore. And I always find it extremely interesting that with the bigger sizes, um, the prices don't increase in sales that fast. And I talked about it once, uh, I'm gonna make a little digression with a sailing person and, and they said, and it made totally sense, it's because a lot of the pieces will be the same. Uh, for example, the handles, uh, maybe there's a slight change in size, but in principle it's the same. Uh, some of the charms and so on will be the same. It's just the size of the bag that will change. But the time, also the working time spent uh, bending and sewing the bag together, whether you sew for two centimeters more or less, it's not gonna cost you much more time. And it's because of that that you actually don't have such a big price difference because the base cost of the bag um, will be the same for all the bags. And then when you go for a bigger size, you have maybe a bit extra leather, a bit more time, 
but not that much more than for a smaller bag. And sometimes actually it can be more difficult to smaller bags because you have more, more tiny pieces and it's a bit more intricate. So yeah, that was a little digression. I close the parenthesis here. Um, and interestingly also Dior of course also has limited editions. Uh, so for example, for this summer, I will put some pictures here. They have uh, the one with this nice um, kind of basket style, which is very trendy uh, this summer. They also have some with glitter, which retail for more than 7,000 uh, euros. All of this. So yeah, and colors. You have a lot, lot, lot of color options. And as I said, on top of that, they come with special edition all the time. So so it's uh, you have a very, very big choice. One of the biggest choice I find in the luxury bag uh, world let's say so that was it for this part where i just told you about the different options i have the middle size uh, because for me i need to carry a few things in my bag and originally i wanted the my abc because i found very cool the fact that you could personalize the strap um, but then it's small and it's too small for me i i cannot fit enough in it i, I have to be able to at least put my phone my wallet a book uh, something inside um, and it was it was really too small. This size was the, the right size for me. Uh, it's also not that big, um, so it, it looks nice on me because I'm not that tall. Uh, so the big one, for example, for me would have been much too big. And I also somehow find that the proportions is looking a bit weird to me. I don't know. I cannot really explain. Um, yeah, it it looks a bit like almost disproportionate. I, it's, it's very weird. I find that the mini, the small and the middle size are the ones which are looking the best. Um, but that's just my opinion. It's a very rigid bag. Uh, so the size, you see, even when I hold it like that, it's not really falling because the size, are, are, I have really to press to, to get this. It has under this four little feet, which is almost all luxury bags have. And it's really appreciated when you put it that you're not going to damage it under. It does not scratch easily. I have it since more than two years now, I've worn it a lot. There's, I mean, on the bag itself, almost no scratch, maybe a tiny one. I'm just checking again. I checked before, but I saw, I saw really nothing. Under you will have a little scratch. I will show you a bit with the light. You can see these tiny, tiny, tiny marks, but it's really almost invisible. And the handles, you will have a tiny bit more in the inside of the handle because the leather is also a bit softer. I don't know if you can see. Um, but it's also extremely discreet. I mean, you really have to be looking for them to be able to see those, uh, you see here, those tiny scratches. And yeah, it's because I grab my bag, I have nails. <laughs> Even if they're not that long, this is still there. And that's how this kind of thing happens. The handles are also extremely rigid. And you can hear, right? It's not, it's, it's a loud bag. <laughs> The bag when you're walking with him with it uh, on your side and you're walking it will make a bit of noise to be honest nothing too bad that i would uh, consider it as a negative point um, but i thought i would mention it in case you're very sensitive to this kind of little noise because i think it's my only luxury handbag making this kind of noise because of yeah the handle way this is done and because, of course, of these little charms. Um, so yeah, that's that's the reason why it makes noise. Um, it's a bag that you can, of course, carry like that. I find it quite comfortable. I find that the handles are big enough that you can really comfortably carry it here, there. There is no, there will be no, no fight, no issue, uh, no problem. Or uh, you have the strap that you can um, adjust the length. So for me, because I'm a petite, it's on the minimum. Um, I've actually been considering adding some, some holes, which is something I might do in the future, I don't know. Um, then you have here uh, something to, to hold it, and you can move uh, that, that little thing. You see, I can move it a bit up, and I can move it a bit down. So if I would be to add uh, something, I think I could, for example, um, then this would be longer, and I think I could move this a bit long, uh, lower, so that uh, the strap stays uh, put and does not start flipping around. Um, you have the Christian Dior logo a bit everywhere, right? Here you have a CD, uh, you have it also here on the ha hardware under, uh, you have it in several places here. So the strap you can remove by uh, pressing here and then you will remove it. And yeah, I think that's 
all I can tell you for like let's say general information about the bag and now let's move up to the inside of the bag so it's very simple you see it's just a black hole <laughs> you have one little pocket um, I don't know if you will be able to see uh, yeah I think you can see here you have uh, because yeah it's it's black so it's extremely dark um, and then you have also this thing this leather uh, that you can use uh, basically to close the bag so you could put your things inside and then you could just put that on top like that and then your bag is in principle closed uh, you see here there is also a few scratch marks because of course that's the thing where you will go most and the leather here is softer um, to be honest I don't use it I mean you can you can put it in the to to keep it closed then you can like put the end of this into the little pocket uh, I just showed you before and then it will uh, keep it kind of closed um, Ah, yes, and I did not show you because it was hidden by the, this. You have also a, a pocket with a zip here on the other side with a rabat. So, yeah, basically you have this big uh, kind of pocket thing. I often use it as a pocket, but you principle, I guess, it's more done that you can close this thing here. But the thing is, I never do that. I never do that because this is extremely annoying. You're walking around, you have things, you need to grab something in your bag. You have this so you cannot just push it in because you have your stuff inside. So you first have to go and grab it and somehow take it out. And then you have to access your, your stuff with this thing flapping around. And then you have to put it back in. No. I mean, if I can avoid it, if I'm not somewhere where uh, there is a risk for my things inside. But to be honest, if this is the case, I would probably not pick that bag. I just don't. What I do, and this is the reason why I never use the other pocket, is I just keep it flap. I just keep it on the side and I just put my stuff inside. And that's it. And this is then extremely great because you can have super easy access to all uh, what's inside. Uh, really, then you have no problem. But this closing mechanism, I find extremely impractical. So if you need to keep your bags closed, this is, I would not, not necessarily recommend it. I think you could still go make it work with the middle size but I cannot imagine with a smaller size it will be even harder to, to do this I mean if you need to keep your bags closed and you really really wrote the lady Dior then go for the middle size or eventually if you like it the bigger size but don't go for a small size because it will be a pain <laughs> that's yeah that's that's just how it is I mean it's my opinion of course yeah. But I think I've seen other people uh, saying the same things. And yeah. Um, then let's have a look what it can fit inside, right? I have a lot of stuff around me uh, because I thought, um, so I will do this video for other bags too. Uh, and um, I want to show you, then you can compare, you know, uh, with the different bags. I want to be kind of using the same kind of objects. And I will start with, let's say, um, the bare minimum, the classics, I will say. Number one, a wallet. So it's a classic wallet, not especially big, not especially small. This bag is big enough that we don't have to use necessarily uh, go down to a card holder size. We can definitely put a wallet in it. No need to go to something smaller. So wallet is inside. Then I will put some tissues. Let's put some tissues. That's also a must for me. Keys. Stupid, but you tend to need those. Um, in ears, so this box is bigger than a classic AirPod box, I will say, if you use AirPods, so my one are from Bose. Um, if you use the AirPods, I think it's like this smaller, I think, I, from what I've seen. But yeah, that also will go inside. Then we keep still space, so we don't stop there. <laughs> Hand sanitizer, you know, our friends. And cream, kind of goes along with it. So this is what I would call most of the essential, and you see they can giggle, ar giggle around, move around, I still have space. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to add a lipstick, also quite an essential, I will, I will say. Then um, a book. So books, I took two sizes. I took a small pocket size and a bigger book. <laughs> um, I think the bigger book, it will not fit, right? Uh, you have too much, but I mean, it, it's a big book. Um, but that, that, that won't fit. There's just not enough space for that anymore. The small book, I think it will still fit. 
I'm almost sure. And yes, here it is. We have the small book. It starts to be a bit crowded inside there, but we still have space, so we can keep going. Sunglasses. And now I will say we are slowly reaching full capacity. You could keep going, but it will start to be harder to reach your objects. Or as an alternative, if you don't need sunglasses, for example, um, and let's say you're like me a mom, I mean, you can also organize your bag a bit better. Then it will, of course, be a bit harder to reach object, but in principle, you could still put your sunglasses inside. And you see, if you put them like this, then you kind of have space. So you have a few things which will be at the bottom here, your keys and so on. You will have to reach a bit more to grab them, but that could still work. You do just a bit more of a Tetris, I would say. And then, um, why not a tiny car? Yeah, that fits. A little snack on the go for the kids. That fits too. Up. I mean, yeah, as you see. And when I wear it, hold it like that, you can see from the size, the leather did not get uh, bent or anything. This is also something very nice with this bag because it's so rigid, it won't, uh, the leather won't get, um, won't lose its shape uh, if you put too much things inside. But so, I mean, it's crazy. I can even add some this, and now, now we start to reach really full capacity. I added some, some little hand and face wipes for my kids. And then, yeah, now from the top, you will start to see that the bag is really full. And if you want to grab things, you will have to remove, for example, that. But if I don't add this, you can put all of that inside. So it's quite a lot, right? I have book, keys, wallets, uh, tissues, hand disinfection, in-ears, sunglasses. I have a snack for my kid, a toy for my kid, and the bag still looks perfect. So this is one of the reasons why it's a bag I also use a lot, uh, because it fits a lot. Um, it's black, so it goes with a lot of my outfits. Um, so yeah, I, it does not scratch so easily on the outside. So that's a bag I have no problem using. I don't use it so much maybe if it rains a lot. Uh, I tend to be careful with my luxury baggers under the rain. But otherwise, it's great. It's great, guys. I, I'm extremely happy I bought this bag. And um, for the little anecdote, um, I bought this bag now almost two years ago. And you're going to hate me for that. But I am personally very happy. <laughs> At the time, uh, so one and a half year ago, I bought it in December 2020. Uh, what, what were we? 2021. Yeah, I bought it in December 2021, so one and a half year ago. I paid for this bag 3,900 euros. And you saw at the beginning of the video, it's now worth 5,900. Don't let me start, get me started on the price increases of the luxury brands. It's, it's getting out of hand and it's completely crazy. One thing to, let's say, take out of these price increases is if there is a bag you really, really, really want, and you know you want this bag, Try to get it as soon as you can, um, because the longer you wait, the more the prices are increasing, especially with brands like Dior, Vuitton, oh, Chanel, let's not even get started with Chanel, but even Fendi is doing print price increases, Saint Laurent has been doing price increases, uh, even Hermès, of course, is doing price increases. Um, they're all, all doing it, uh, more or less different levels, but they're all doing it. So if there is a bag, a luxury bag you want, uh, if you can, I mean, don't put yourself in financial difficulty over a bag, right? But if you if you have a way of making it work, uh, maybe prioritizing this over something else, if there's a bag you really, really want, go for it. And I'm happy I did it at the time. Um, I was hesitating in buying this bag or buying something smaller, uh, a little wallet uh, for Christmas, because, yeah, I mean... It was doable, but I was hesitating because I thought, hmm, but maybe I can keep my money and then I can keep buy this wallet and maybe I want also to buy myself a new desk. Hmm. And I'm very happy that at the end I thought, oh, but wait a second, in December there might be a price increase in January. I'm going to buy the bag just to be safe. I did buy it. Four weeks later, it was 600 euro more. And yeah, for this 600 euro of difference, I, that was even more than what my little wallet would have costed, right? So 
that's that's basically what I mean. Uh, I, if you are hesitating, oh, I can buy this wallet and this little thing and this little thing. Of course you can. But if you are sure you want that bag, whatever brand, whatever model it is, maybe prioritize this. And you can always buy this little wallet and these little things after. Uh, otherwise, you will be chasing it forever. <laughs> With the price increases, they are doing it. It's just, just crazy. But yeah, the so, uh, thing I can tell you is if you have the money and if you like it, it's a nice bag. I'm very happy with it. Um, middle size is for me the most practical one and uh, it's been wearing great and I'm very happy. I'm wearing it a lot. And yeah, I will even put a picture of my son running around with it when he was, he just start, he was just starting to walk. It was so cute. He just grabbed it and started running around with it. I was like, oh my God, not a scratch, nothing. I mean, I catch it quite fast, huh? <laughs> did not let him go too far with it, but yeah, so it's very durable. And on this note, guys, I will uh, let you with another video in case you have not seen it yet. And if you enjoy this video and you want to see more, of course, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking here. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Have a lovely day wherever you are. Bye.